Power BI has this really interesting feature where if you have a number and if it gets too big, like it gets into 7,000, then it automatically shows it as 7K. And when it gets to millions, it shows that number in millions automatically. Did you ever wonder how to do this with Excel? In this video, let me show you two techniques of doing this using Excel. Let's take a look at this. So the first technique uses number format codes. Here I have got some values and we want to turn these values into either thousands or millions depending on how big the number is. To do that, you just select the cells and then press Ctrl 1 to open format cells. And from here, instead of using either number or currency, we are going to use a custom format code. So click on custom and you'll see that the formatting like looks like this. It will have pound, comma, pound, pound and zero. Now here we are going to give some rules. So the first rule is you go all the way to the beginning and within square brackets, you can specify the rules. So I'm going to say less than 1000. If it is under 1000, I don't mind that format code. So that's fine. Then we are going to use a semicolon and then open one more square bracket. This time we want to check for if the number is under 1 million, then we want to format that in thousands. So one and six zeros. And here the format code that we are going to use is pound comma pound pound comma dot zero and then within double quotes K. What this does is it takes the number, it then rounds it to the thousands, adds a decimal point and then prints the value with a K in the end. If neither of these rules are met, then that means the number is more than 1 million. So it should be formatted in millions. So this time the format code is pound comma pound pound and then two commas dot zero and then within double quotes M. So what this is going to do is it's going to round the number up to millions and then put a decimal point and M. So each comma takes away three digits at a time. So one comma for thousand, two commas for millions and if you can put three commas for billions. Unfortunately, the limitation of custom format code is you can only write two rules at a time and then the third one becomes the default rule. So there is only three rules that we can do. So here we are limited to choosing between number, thousands and millions. When you click OK, you'll see that Excel automatically formats the values into either number itself, thousands or millions. And that's how I have done this bit. But there is a problem with this approach. What happens if you have got some negative numbers? I've got these negative numbers here. You'll see that all these negative numbers will be appearing in their original formatting. They cannot have this kind of thousands or millions option because our rules are written in such a way. I'll show them again to you here. If it is under thousand, then the number should present as itself. As the negative numbers are always going to be under 1000, you will end up with this kind of a setting. So that is a limitation of this cell formatting based approach. So normally when I make a dashboard, I use this kind of a technique, but because it doesn't work with the negative numbers and also it has a limitation of only going up to three rules, there is a formula based technique that I normally use. And here it is. This formula based technique uses a lookup table with format codes. So rather than typing the format in the cell format codes, we maintain a lookup table with the value and the format code that we want. So this lookup table is it might look a bit confusing, but it's a really simple table. And for now, just focus on these two columns here. What we are doing is if the value is, let's say less than I don't know, that looks like 999 billion, then it will appear in the format code like this. So here you can see the format code pound, comma, pound, pound, and then three commas. So that's going to round it up to a billion. And when it is in billions, uh, two decimal points and then within double quotes B. Then if it is negative 999 million, this one, 999,000, this format, negative 999, that format, 1000 onwards, it's going to be in thousands, then millions, 
than billions. Once you have a lookup table like that, for any number, so here is a number, I just do a lookup to find out where is the closest match for that and then what is the format code for this. To get this, we are using the lookup function along with the text function. So first up, let's understand the lookup part. If you look at this here, lookup of the number itself and then it's going to look up here and return the corresponding format code. As 123 is not in this list, what lookup does is it finds the next closest value. Well, technically next lowest value and it will find 999 negative and then it will use this format code pound comma comma zero. So lookup function here for 123 returns that value. You can see that in the tooltip. And when the text function uses that number B5 with that format code, it just formats that number in that formatting code. So essentially it's as if you are formatting the cell, but text function is doing that for you and then it will return that value. Same with 1223.34. When that goes here, it will do it here. But the beautiful thing with this is it works with negative numbers as well. When the number is negative, it just does the formatting and automatically adds the negative sign as well. And you can now use it for both positive and negative values. Many times when you are using this kind of an approach, you may want to also try with the accounting format. So here I have put accounting format codes as well. Those are nothing special. All they do is they just add a semicolon and then open bracket and close bracket around it so that it appears in this bracket kind of a notation for negative numbers. So those are the two techniques. Which one do you like? My favorite has to be this lookup table approach. If you want to know few more Excel formatting tricks and tips that pro users like me use, then check out the video that shows up on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye.